Tonight, one very special fan gets to spend another night in the middle of it all. Sister Jean sticking around to cheer on her team now that Loyola is moving on. Fox 59's Darius Johnson got a chance to speak with her about her hopes for her Ramblers and what it means to be able to be here for the tournament. There she is in her maroon and gold. Sister Jean Dolores Schmidt, commonly known as the basketball nun since her NCAA debut in 2018. We have such a passion for the game. It's not like the little engine that could. You know, you just keep puffing along and get relaxed. To the Ramblers, she's not just a 101-year-old pillar of the community. She's their prayer warrior. I said, you know that you can win this game. The fans know you can win this game. I know you can win this game. She's also their booster shot as they head toward the Sweet 16 after defeating Illinois and Georgia Tech this weekend, one year after a disrupted tournament, one year after COVID. I miss seeing the guys all the time. They connect me by telephone because I can't, I can't go down on the field. I can't go to the locker room or anything like that. While COVID made face-to-face -face communication challenging, Sister Jean didn't let that stop her. Always an email before the game, a prayer before the game, and an email after the game. No emails this time around. Although she's not on the sideline, she's nearby from beginning to end, not only in her heart and in her mind, but in her bracket. So this time I have been going to the Elite Eight, hoping that we'll get even closer than the final four. And of course, you couldn't call it a true who's your welcome without. So we have Dog Blue and Sister Jean. I thought, wow, this is a big bulldog. But he was gentle, so gentle. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Darius Johnson. Welcome to Indianapolis, Sister Jean.